Okay, let's see how that's doing. My internet has been funky today, but let's see if this works. I actually goofed up. I meant to do something else, but hey, we'll work with what we got. Hello, guys. All right, let me get this out of the way. All right. Hello, Sky Wolf. Hello, Matteo. Hello, Toa. I'm holding up okay. How are you guys doing? You early birds, you're the first ones in. Hello, Digital. Good to see you. Hello, Fang. Dragon. Godzilla. Happy April Fool's Day. Hello, AF Network. Rusted. Dragoon. Hello, everybody. You'll be lurking until your class ends. But all right, lurk away. I will not judge you for lurking. Hello, Fang? Yeah, you are here early. I literally just hit the button a minute ago. Jeez. You know what's scary is that I've got a new fan that I got for Christmas, like a new like upright fan, and this one has a thermometer built in, and for the first time I can actually see how hot my room always is. And right now it's 79 degrees in here, even though the AC is on 74 KGK1818, thank you for the cheer. Thank you for the bits. Very appreciated. Two more days until the 50th anniversary of Common Ryan. All the fans say the catchphrase of the cake man. <laughs> well, they've got huge announcements that they've got like countdown clocks for. There's like three big anniversary announcements that they're like really hyping up, and I'm super curious about that. Cyber V for victory. Thank you for resubscribing. Very appreciated. Hope you're doing better, my old friend. Stay strong. I am doing better. Uh, think Things are kind of settling into the new norm around here, so I, I think uh, mentally my brain's in the right spot again. You got Netflix Elite One. What's your opinion on the mold? Um, it's a great action figure with a collapsible car on its back. I It's... I can't really call it a transformer because that toy does not transform. Have I picked up any new toys? Uh, Eeks, yes, I have. I've gotten some of the Wave 2 of Kingdom. I found Raptonite and uh, Air Razor. Air Razor, who is like right here. So I've got them, and they've been quite nice. I don't have Huffer. For, it's the only one that hasn't shown up around here. Uh, beyond that, nothing like super new toy wise hlj did just charge me to get my uh my zen kaiger mecha like because i bought the four pack so that one is uh, i don't know when that's going to be on the way i might grab a few more things before i hit ship on there who boy the checkup busy fast gonna get gonna get to sleep in a short bit gotta make sure my kitty gets inside before i do all right sky wolf well, thanks for stopping in, Dragoon21. Thank you for subscribing with your Prime subscription. Very appreciated. So, yeah, cheap. Yeah, uh, for the cheap shill, uh, 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 Amazon Prime members get one free subscription to somebody on Twitch, and I very much appreciate it when someone burns their freebie on me. Common night. Yes, you made it to another one. Two Kaiser silhouette. It's not enough to go on. It's supposedly Go Kaiser base, which would make sense, but mm, I'm, I'm waiting until we get some actual details. Scyther's on the watch for any new members of the swarm. Hey, you know what April Fool's joke got played on me today involving my boy Scyther? So there is a there is a Johto era action figure for Scyther that Hasbro made. It's a five inch action figure for Scyther. Speaking of which, here, I need my. Uh, I need my little guardian on there. There we go. But it's the only time a, like a five-inch Scyther action figure was made. 
the only time I saw that on eBay was like eight or nine years ago, and somebody wanted sixty dollars for the shiny one in package and seventy dollars in package for the regular one, and I should have taken them because I've not seen them on eBay since then. Until today, someone has a loose shiny one that they just listed this morning on eBay, and they want five hundred dollars for it. That's an April Fool's joke. For all the toys I can scrounge up, for as like obscure and weird as the toys get for the for what I have found for like celebrity autographs, I have never been able to find that toy. And that's the first time I've seen it in years, and that is way too much money. Let's go hollow Victini. Rusted Nick Battle Styles has a few hollow Victinis, so we'll see if we we'll see if we get one today. hope they poked holes in the box so your fan could breathe. What did he donate to Patreon to earn that reward? I don't have a subscription rate to allow you to breathe, so I'm not quite sure. Hello, Lord Megatron. Fang Spectre. How if you got your O stuff on your actual birthday, that would be awesome. And then everyone has to share. You, you can you get this the entire day of Kogami gifts. Have I considered asking Scott to do something for the shop? Well, Scott's not exactly local. We would have to fly him in. We would have to pay for his hotel. We would have to pay him for his time. Uh, at that point, we are probably spending more money than he would ever generate to a local crowd. <laughs> uh, once a year to Tampa at a big convention, that's fine. At a little tiny toy shop, that's probably not going to happen. Uh, thoughts on Zen Kaiser, common Pikachu. I love Zen Kaiser so far. There's like so much energy in that series I really like and so many designs I really like. Uh, the Black Zarak announcement. It's ballsy. Uh, considering the last special release they did at Titans Class did not go well. That's Grand Maximus. That one barely got made. I'm kind of surprised. Then again, it's a very sought-after character because the G1 is you know, self-destructing. Waiting for two guys changer to come out uh, at the end of April until you ship everything. I'm probably going to wait until I can spring for the uh, the actual the the geared linger because the transformation toy actually makes good noises this year. So I'm probably gonna wait until I can spring for that. <laughs> it's a TJ. It's a new me. Hello, the gaming TJ. Hello, fellow TJ. Is the main camera higher today? Because you can see the void. Yeah, I'm trying to find a more comfortable position to keep the camera at, so like I'm not like messing up with the messing up the cards when I put them into frame. So that's about that's about right, right there. I need like I I wish I had like some other way of like having like a nice backdrop that covered up the gap. Maybe once Metricon can start up again, your store could have a booth. I've talked about it with him. Um, we're gonna have to figure out something because I've got a, I've got Metricon in three and a half months if everything goes to plan. Have a Power Ranger actor at the store. JDF does those a lot. We don't have too much Power Ranger merchandise, or else that might be a good idea. Other than again, you're talking about. We are a, we're a, we're a small little toy shop that just started up in January. We don't have a whole lot of capital to bring in celebrities. You guys suggesting that that would be like a viable thing to bring to like do an event at the toy shop. That's uh that is far more expensive than you think it is. I'll put it to you that way. Far more expensive. Not even something like a voiceover. Um, I'm not sure what I'd do as a voiceover for him. Um, like it'd be funny if I could go around and like have the shop talk and all his characters, but I don't think we have too many of Scott's characters actually in the store right now. 
You think they'll do a Brave Maximus? I wish they would, but I think that's even farther out than, like, Grand Maximus was more viable than Brave Maximus, and Grand Maximus barely made its funding goal. All right, thanks for stopping in, Matteo. Matteo is hungry, and his phone is hungry for energy, so we are going to let him leave because he has good excuses. Yes, it's a sh yes, it's a hollow energy card, Dragon. I actually opened up a few packs off stream and got the last hollow energy I need. So I've got all nine energy cards in hollow, and they are beautiful. I really wish I had a whole deck's worth. Uh, Sound Blaster, you are not late. That's why the pre-show chatting thing is up. We've not, we have not been on the air very long. Have I seen the videos where someone gives Pokemon Digivolutions? Yes. Um, I've seen the videos where, like, uh, I've seen the video of Charmander evolving into Charizard. Or I think, uh, I think it's actually Charizard X. Uh, I've seen, I've seen where someone did an animation where Charizard evolved like a Digimon, which is actually really cool. Have I been recognized while working at the store? Um, once. One person came in, kind of went like, "Do you do YouTube?" Yes, yes, I do. Wall full of posters with comment writers, and have people go buy each one. If they can do a henshin for each, they will get thirty percent off a of purchase to a certain amount. I think I've seen the video you're talking about. I think I've seen a video of someone doing that, where they just walk by all the displays and do the henshin poses, just to show off. Um, yeah, it's not quite viable on my toy store. There's no, there's no poster space. You got the, he got you the Sengoku driver for Christmas, but was missing the Baron faceplate, even though the seller said it was included. Seller hasn't gotten back to him. Toa, was it the, was it the, like the recent, like 20, like the anniversary reissue that they did? Because that one didn't have the Baron faceplate. Digital, yeah, that's a really like head scratch. Like, that, that's like a surreal moment where Kamen Rider, where Kabuto, uh, Tendo just starts speaking and like says uh, stronger and strongest in perfect English without any accent whatsoever. It's because he has such like a mature, sophisticated voice, and then when he switches to English, he just sounds like some really young dude. It's just it's very weird. Can't wait to see your boys in Steel Type and Jirachi. Oh, I should I should have brought in the Jirachi thing. I should have had the I should have brought in the Jirachi thing I have. Right now, um, I'm babysitting something for the toy store. Uh, it's a big like Jirachi GX gift set where it's like ten packs plus Jirachi promo cards, Jirachi coins, but it's huge. So I, I'm taking that into the store to sell tomorrow. I wish I could keep it because it's amazing looking. So I've got that hanging back. Two Pokemon to make a Pokemon Omnimon. Who would you pick? I mean, with with Pokemon, it's harder because there's not too many duos in Pokemon. You know, there aren't, there aren't too many, like, one and two counterpoints. It's all, there's always a third involved, you know? Like, like, Groudon and Kyogre would be good choices for that, but you'd have to figure out where Rayquaza matches in. Right. So, you'd need, a, you'd need the trio. Have I seen a video yet of David K doing a voiceover of the Beast Wars comic? I have not seen it. I've heard that it exists. Uh, Michael, you've not missed anything. That's why the pre-show chatting thing is up. We've just been hanging out, waiting for people to get in here. Yeah, Fai's, yeah, we have a confirmed uh, Zangetsu Kachidoki Lock Seed, which is very cool. Uh, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck Norris? Uh, if a woodchuck could chuck fictional Chuck Norris, pretty good. Probably, probably a force worth in one chop. 
Kabuto's actor was raised in Europe and moved to Japan later on in his life, hence why he can speak perfect English. Well, that is something to know. That's trivia. <laughs> You're lucky I wasn't drinking anything that time you revealed your D8 results on Twitter. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad you got such a kick out of that. Yeah, for those who didn't see the D&D &D tweet, my, my ranger did just a disgusting amount of damage in one turn. To the point where my entire table is now scared of getting on his bad side. Because he could probably drop any one of them in one round of combat. Let's see, um... Uh... Why do I have to babysit it? Why not just leave it at the store? Because I had to bring it from our store down south to the store up north, and I didn't want to make the drive. I got this like I, like when I drove home from our from our store in Naples. I had to like uh, it was like ten, it was like seven thirty at night. I didn't want to drive to the other store to drop it off and then drive home. You know, I you know so right now it's on the kitchen table, just hanging out until I take it there tomorrow. No Gaim spoilers? Okay, don't spoil and Please, no one spoil Gaim for any for anyone because it's such a good show to watch blind. It's such a good show. Yeah, Pokemon 3 would make the main body. 253, that would make that would make sense. And that, at that point, your, uh, your legendaries are all viable. I think the only duo that would actually work in that is like Lugia and Ho-Oh, which would actually be, be, actually be kind of cool looking. Yeah, Kach yeah, Zangetsu Kachidoki was from the stage show that came well after the show. It's just like a it's a what if storyline. So it doesn't spoil the show. Yeah, um yeah, there's nothing on my there's nothing on my face cam lens. This is a charm that my girlfriend got me. So it it dangles there on my microphone. Saying my character has Ultra Instinct. Yeah. Uh, don't we all wish? I'm only missing a bear companion and a knack for haggling for your ranger. Um, no, my, my, my ranger's got plenty of his own little twi twitches and quirks. He doesn't really need uh, anything else like that. You know, let me... Let me see if I can change something real quick, because something's weird here. See, um, yeah, for some reason, my balance is way off. My right is responding way more than my left. Let's see if I can balance that out. I think it was off at one point, and then I corrected it, and now it's, like, fixed again. So that should balance my audio. Uh, tier guy, you haven't missed anything. Uh, when the pre-show chatting message is up, that means we haven't started opening anything yet. Your figure arts Bravo needs an opponent for an upcoming review, and the only figure figure art you have is Gose Knight. Hmm. I mean, you, it doesn't have to be like a physical opponent that's the right scale. It could be any figure of any character that's in scale. So any six-inch action figure you have will work with figure arts Bravo. Or you recall Bravo is also a, a pastry chef, so you could have him fighting a cupcake if you really wanted to be goofy about it. Uh, do I play Among Us? Not as much as I would like to. I never have a group that's big enough to play. And I don't want to I don't like playing with randos. I, I want to play like voice chat with uh, people I know because they're so much better at stabbing me in the back. You're not sure if you'll be able to get replacements for those two Lego minifigs until they got removed from eBay. Okay, uh, Cyber, really don't worry about it. Like, those are, like, those are, like, mass-produced knockoff kind of little Mega Man minis. Um, there's probably a bunch of sellers that have them. I'm not terribly worried about them. I, like, I, ser like, I appreciate, I appreciate you doing it in the first place. That was cool. Happy Digimon Tamer's anniversary. Yeah, I missed. 
Tamers was cool. Like, it was hard to let go of, like, the first cast after two seasons, but I, I really got into Tamers after a while. I thought what they did with the Digidestin was a lot better because they seemed to actually be involved in, you know, in what was going on and not just, like, cheerleaders. Guidance and stage play are all canon. Well, Cyber, we're trying not to spoil anything, so uh, keep it keep it to your... Let's just try to keep all the details of Gaim yourself, because there's people in the chat who don't want any spoilers. Started your WFC Trilogy Collection. Acquired Siege, Skytread, and Cog. Got Brunt coming in next from Amazon. Going to try and get a Spinister. Okay, all good toys. Like, the last trilogy has actually been pretty solid. Yeah, I actually really like... I like Skytread. Like, Skytread, like, like, for a G1 character that's just kind of a terrible toy, I'm surprised he got such a good one. You need the figureized decade model kit. Yes, you do. I, I, like, I've, I need to build mine is what I need to do. Um, let's see. Favorite Digivice, uh, probably this, probably the season two. I like, I like, I like the more hand, like the more hand hold, held friendly take on the Digivice. You like Data Squad when you were younger. I'm not even sure I watched Data Squad. It's, it's hard for me to remember because I know there's a bunch of Digimon newer Digimon shows that I completely skipped because I just wasn't interested in them. Um. Uh, it's hard for me to remember the last one I watched. Uh, we already... Uh, Sam Blaster, I already covered uh, Black Zarak. I think it is gutsy for Hasbro and Takara to release it. But at the same time, I can see where the demand is. So, yeah, it's cool that they're doing it. I'm looking forward to it. I've got a pre-order in. I don't know where it's going to go, but I've got a pre-order in. Not familiar with the G1 toy line, so I actually don't know the original Duocon characters. Based on, on the dis toy, I'm to say it's a novel concept, and Skytrade is pretty cool. Uh, Dad Oni, all you really need to know is, like, the, the original Duocons don't have character because they were never in the show, outside of, like, a brief cameo in the opening of Season 4. So, three appearances in the opening, and that was it. Um... They were very bad figures. They they were like auto. They're auto transforming. Like you'd you'd stick you'd stick the top one on the bottom one, and they'd flip into the robot mode. But the robot mode has no articulation. Cannot hold its weapon properly. It's just it's a gimmick figure, and they look terrible. But the new ones have been really good. Have I watched the Mighty Duck series yet? No, I have not. I haven't had the time to watch anything. You know, people keep asking me if I've watched the Snyder Cut or if I have watched uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. No, the answer is no. I don't have time. This entire week has been just absolute chaos, and I've been on my feet forever. Uh, all Digimon series. Adventure, Adventure 2 I saw. Tamers I saw. Frontier I skipped. Because I hated, I hated what Frontier did to the Digimon concept. Because it completely removed the whole partner aspect and basically turned it into like a common Rider show. You'd think turning Digimon into a common Rider show would be something I dug. No, I, I completely hated that one. Uh, Savers. Okay, so I did. Wa I, I watched most of Savers subtitled. I never watched the dub. Uh, so I've seen a bunch of Savers. I liked Savers, but I never got around to finishing it. Uh... Cross Wars, I never saw. Uh, Universe, I never saw. And the Adventure Reboot, I keep hearing, is good, but I've never seen. I haven't had the time to watch that either. Do I think Hasbro is responsible for tri Cybertron being renamed VR Troopers? Yes, because they had that term copyrighted. So they, either someone at Saban caught that and just, and said they had to do a name change, or they sent lawyers over, to, or Hasbro sent lawyers to Saban, one or the other. Okay, what is going on here? Hang on. Okay, why is Fortnite updating now? I don't need update Fortnite now. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna start here as soon as that's finished because I don't want the uh, I don't I don't want to risk opening packs when that's going off because I don't I don't want it to uh, I don't want it to mess anything up.
The song they chose would have been good if they chanted Cybertron instead. We'll never know now, will we? Your uh, Rampage, you're right. I never finished. I never did a video for the combined Tobot figures, which is like that's when things here started getting really bad, and I just never got around to it. Aside from it's just a logistic nightmare because the toys are so huge when they're combined in both modes. Yes, I remember when Saban messed up the Masked Riders uh, when they did the dub and all the old riders showing up. They got a few of them right. They got a few of them right. The funny one was when Common Rider X wasn't the one with a big X on his head. Like that was the that was the biggest gaffe out of that whole thing. I really don't think that was even a dub problem. I think that was an editor's problem. I think an editor put those in the wrong spots. Because like that would be like pretty easy to go in and correct today, just to swap the clips around. Uh, how, how's my April Fool's Day? See any funny prank videos? I generally avoid when there's obvious prank videos going around. Like, this is the first year I did... Every year, I have, like, I want to do an April Fool's video, and then I don't have a good idea for it. But a month from now, I will have a fantastic April Fool's idea. I'll have to hold on to it for 11 months and probably forget about it some point in July. That's how that works. So, yeah... Remember Toon Maker Sailor Moon? Yes, I saw the pilot pitch for uh, the Americanized Sailor Moon cartoon. Stewie, do you remember when they wanted to do, when they tried to do the same thing with SD Gundam? Because someone just made me aware of that a few days ago, and it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Thomas, hello. Funny, the game back out onto YouTube after a hiatus. This live stream was recommended. I have no clue about Pokemon, but I'm here to learn. Okay, well, welcome. So, the Pokemon TCG is, like, in the hottest period it's ever been in, and it's all speculator market. Nobody plays the game. They just buy and collect and see if they pull really strong cards. So, a whole bunch of YouTuber influencers, like I am, Right, not not a big deal YouTuber. We're talking like tens of millions of subs. Started opening up packs of Pokemon cards in order to see exactly what the big deal was and started hyping up really big cards. Last time I did this, I pulled a card that's almost $400, and that's super exciting. And that's kind of what we're here for, to kind of spin the cardboard slot machine and see what comes up on the reel. It's like loot boxing in real life with a lot more... Uh, with a lot more uh, th physical things to figure out what you're going to do with. You know, the only April Fool joke I did this year was I posted that photo of all the stacked... Uh, I posted the photo of all the stacked booster boxes that I have. And I posted that because... That's, a, that's another one of those where I got inventory in that I had to move from one store to the other, but I, had, I couldn't do it the same day, so I had to sit... I had to bring it home and babysit it. So as long as I had s seven booster boxes available, I decided let's take a picture and post it for April Fools. Because when else am I going to have literally a thousand dollars worth of Pokemon cards just sitting around? Did anybody ever play the card game? Yes, people used to play the card game all the time. Well, there's still people who play the card game. Of course there is, but there are so many people. But there's like, like I remember, I remember like, like I was playing in high school. I played during lunch with a friend of mine, and he kicked my ass with a Wigglytuff deck. Uh, but yeah, like people have always been playing. Always, sports cards are going through the same thing. Yeah, I I've seen that too. Uh, for Gara, for some reason, it's not baseball. The ones, the big ones right now are basketball and football. Like, those are the two, like, sports cards that are just, like, gigantic. Okay, it looks like, uh, updates are finished. My connection is stable. Let's get to actually opening up and seeing what we have to... Oh, that's, that's the wrong one. Uh, there's, there we go. We'll click that one off. 
Tsuki, you just made it. All right, all right, let's see here. Um, so, I am not, as I showed on Twitter, opening seven boxes of battle styles. Uh, we do have one full booster box of battle styles. This is the first time I've ever pulled a second booster box of any series. So, this is going to be interesting. We'll see a lot of the familiar cards, but we'll get into, uh, we'll probably get into some pretty good rares out of this, I feel. And then, because I found them, because I was lucky enough to stumble into them more than once, uh, Michael, American football. American football, not uh, international football. All right, so, but like I said, um, because I was lucky enough to find them more than once, we do also have 10 Vivid Voltage, so we are going to chase after the Rainbow Pikachu here. Just in case I do pull up... Uh, just in case I do pull up a really big card, I have this now. This is a one-touch. It is a very thick card protector with a magnetic clasp at the top. Very, very cool. Uh, that's a new thing. So, let me see. Um, let's see, what did I do with my others? So, like, the last time we were here... That's the beauty we pulled. That's that's almost a four hundred dollar card right there. So he is nice and secure in very sturdy plastic, very nicely displayed. I need to have like little display stands so I can set these up somewhere because they are very cool. Uh, I got like so just in case we pull like some Rainbow Pikachu or the Ursh or the Urshifu alternate arts, we have a nice protector for it. Thank you for the good luck. Of course, I have fun just opening this up for the for the crowd and just like sharing in the excitement of seeing what comes up next. So like big pulls are cool, but also it's kind of just fun to hang out and see what we get. Yeah, yeah, there's some people just like the art on the cards. You know, I think Battle Styles has some fantastic art. Uh, a Justice, yes. Um, I I haven't seen the whole thing of Linkara's Transformer retrospective. I want to. I want to. Now that the whole thing for Marvel is out, but he's doing the continuations, G2 and Regeneration as well, so I might wait for those to be out. And yes, Ben, I'm watching Zen Kaiger. It is a lot of fun. All right. Pack opening time. Uh, Rainbow Rare Scizor. Uh, neither of these series has a Rainbow Rare Scizor. Um... I, I'm not. I can't remember. There's a few series. There's a couple series where I've seen like really rare scissor cards. I can't remember which ones there are now. All right. First pack for Vivid Voltage. So this is gonna be fun because uh, I didn't pull these all from one spot. This there's kind of a a mix in here between some I found at Target, some I found at GameStop. It's gonna be who knows. And Dragon Switch from YouTube to Twitch. Wherever you watch, I am glad to have you here. All right. First polls of the day. We have a Pharaoh Thorn digging, a, digging through the ground, which I'm not sure he can even do now that I think about it. Carolus, Hiss, Boo, ruined all of the fossils. Dusclops, super creepy art. That's a nice, that's a nice little bit. Riolu, sensing his surroundings. Sandial, Barking at the moon. Whalmer. Very colorful. Weedle. It's nice. Oh, it's a nice Weedle. All right. Beldum. Metagross. I really like me some Metagross. And hey, Genesect. So hollow on the first pack. That's not bad. I do like that there is like a legendary mythical Pokemon that is just a bug type because bug types do not get. Uh, they don't get enough breaks. Like, there's a lot of new... There's always new bug types, but they're always, like, very under, underwhelming. Uh, Andrew, I'm, I know you've asked about Black Zarak, like, three times now. I've just... I've already answered that question twice. It's cool. It's ballsy that they're making it. But, uh, yeah. That's really all I can say. It's cool that they're doing it. 
Also, I probably shouldn't have sold my Black Rorochi. <laughs> Game Freak hates bug types. I mean, I don't think they hate bug types. I just don't think they, uh, I don't think they have good ideas for what to do with bug types. Because bug types have a certain balance to them that makes them kind of impractical. But at the same time, there's some really cool bug Pokemon. Like, in the last gen, we got Orbeetle. I love Orbeetle. Pokemon for April Fool's Day just uploaded a short video called Bidoof and changed their profile picture to a picture of Bidoof. <laughs> well, if you're gonna if you're gonna April Fool a Pokemon, there's not much more derpy than Bidoof. All right, League Staff, Charmeleon. They're not even sure I've gotten that in Vivid Voltage. Where what industrial plant do they have their Charmeleon working? Pincurchin, Poochina. Rockruff, still super cute. I, th I think Rockruff is like every one of his cards is super cute. Blitzel, Skiddo, Pharaoh Seed, so Pharaoh Thorn's got company. Drone Rotom. Whoo! Full art Pokemon Center Lady. Pack number two coming in with a full art hollow. This is a strong start. This is a strong start. Yeah, not Nurse Joy. Or as close to Nurse Joy as the game's got. Oh, that's nice. That's that's not I gotta look that one up now. Someone hold Brock down. Brock got over that. Like the last time Brock ran into a girl in the anime, the girl was actually really into him. So like Brock, I think. I think Brock is like committed now. It's weird. Thirty about thirty bucks. That's okay. Like generally, I don't care about the value outside of finding out. Like the value just tells you how much demand a card has, so it tells you how good it is to have pulled it. But I'm not generally like, oh wow, like that. Oh, only thirty dollars. Waste of time. Waste of my money. No, that's cool. Yeah, Olivia. Brock finally found a girl. It only took him like 22 years. All right. Stunfisk. <laughs> the bear trap is neat, but I still don't like Stunfisk. Coating energy. Shuckle. Aw. Duskull. Voltorb. Weedle again. Drillbur. Little toy hanging out in the dirt. Clefairy. Ninjask. And a Waylord, which is not a card I have. With three packs in, three hollows. That's not too bad. That's pretty good distribution so far. Stunfisk literally looks like his life is pain. Yeah, Stunfisk is not a pleasant looking Pokemon. He looks like a fish that was run over. Well, he is based on a flatfish. So he's supposed to look flat and fish-like. It's literally what he's based on. All right. Next up. That code card goes over there. At some point, I might play the Pokemon Online TCG for a stream just because... Because I do use the code cards. I just never really sit down and take the time to build a deck. Much like all the real cards I have in real life. Because I do want to... I think it'd be fun to kind of build quirky little decks and see how they work. I got no one to play because all the local leagues are shut down until everyone's vaccinated. Which, my parents both had their first shots now, so... Hoo-hoo. Electrike. Charmeleon again. Telescopic Sight, Ninkata, Voltorb, Rockruff again, Wismer, aww, Wismer's upset, Trubbish, oh, Wismer had to be in the pack with Trubbish, That's, I'd, I'd cry at that too, Telescopic Sight, ooh, and a f <laughs> Ultra Rare Aegislash, four for four on Hollows, that's, uh, that's not a bad day, 
so far. The Lego Carnage helmet they're doing? No, I've not seen that. Watching Beast Wars and Tubi and forgot how many scenes there were of Scott talking to himself. Well, when you're playing four members of the cast, yeah, that would do that. There's plenty of scenes where Scott talks to himself. The voice actors would li for those scenes would literally like go have a coffee while he's actually uh, doing those scenes. Like they just like leave the room. It's like we're getting a drink. <laughs> Yeah, but it's amusing. All right. Why does Stunfisk farts at you? I'm not sure if he farts at me. I'm not even sure. I'm not sure if a fish can fart, let alone direct it. Watch him pull a secret rare this stream. You never know. I mean, there's a lot of really good rares in Battle Styles and Vivid Voltage. Like, I still need one of the... There's still one of the amazing rares out of Vivid Voltage I need. The the Zamazenta. So, I'm still trying to complete that set. Delmize. Trumbeak. Giving the duck lips. That doesn't work for you. Sableye. Gem mining, apparently. Whalemur again. Dynamo. Tiny little dynamo. Execute. Chatot. Clobopus. Ooh. Reverse hollow. Lucario. Looking actually quite cool. I'm not generally into Lucario, but that's cool artwork. And Wismacot. Okay, the hollow streak is over. Okay, it took five packs to get a normal pack. It wants to kiss me. It does not have consent. It is a bird. I do not accept bird kisses. The reason why the Japanese dub of Beast Wars is a gag series because that's the kind, that's Japan's sense of humor. That's just unfortunately the kind of thing they go for. Um, in some cases, it's easier for dubbers and like when you have to dub something from one language to another sometimes it's just a lot easier to make a gag dub uh that's what sam like uh for an example here in the u.s look up samurai pizza cats where they kind of just improv the entire script because that was easier but well in that in the case of that show they like literally they lost the literal translations and just had to redo it from whatever they saw so um, yeah, it's just sometimes that's just how they, how they could work it. All right. Next up, the drone Rotom. Swoobat. Flying through the sunset, which is cool. Loudrid. Arrowcuda. <laughs> There's a Cramorant going after him. Ninkata. Picky Peck. Puchina. Rockruff. Wismer. And Tarakian. I've got a few Tarakians now. It's still weird to me when... I don't think legendary Pokemon should ever not be a hollow. You thought you remembered Samurai Pizza Cats, but your brain switched memories of Avenger Penguins with it. That's an interesting switch. That's an that's an interesting switch. Um, any good pulls yet, Justin? Our best pull so far. We've only opened a few packs, and I've already got the full art Pokemon Center Lady, which is pretty decent. Nothing groundbreaking yet, but we're working on it. We've got plenty to go. Favorite Power Ranger alike show in the '90s: Superhuman Samurai. I thought it had the best plot. I thought oh, Kilocon was uh, Tim Curry. So like, how do you go wrong with that? And I love the fights and designs in that show, too. You know, like, I will still say that, like, uh, the Formo suit, which was, like, Draco combined onto uh, Servo, one of the best Toku robot designs ever. Absolutely ever. 
Um, Ash, that that particular anime, I'm not even repeating the name because it is a horrifically offensive style of humor they went for for that anime. And just by saying that, people listening to the archive or something already know which one I'm talking about. But it's just... There's a level... There's like... That particular anime, I think... I, I try to watch and go like, I think they went too far on this. I'm not comfortable watching this. Zeb Striker. Very nice. Dusclops again. Beauty. Drillber. Whalmer. Drillber, Whalmer. Cottony. Oh, it broke my rhyme streak. Clobopus. Electrike. Reverse Hollow to Denny. And Terrakian again. Twice in a row. The four kids Tiga dub theme is a horrible earworm for me. It, it's a shockingly catchy theme song for a very poorly dubbed show. The moment you don't know what TJ's talking about. You don't have more of those moments? I'm kind of, I'm like I'm all over the place in my subject matter when I'm speaking. Who wants a new live-action Gridman series? I want the series they planned to make as the sequel. I want Gridman Sigma. Tiga was, Tiga was your introduction to Ultraman, unfortunately. Well, you don't speak ill of what brought you to the dance. You know, like, be glad it got you there. It's not the best show, no, but it led you to the really good shows. It led you to the best ones that you enjoy. You know, I will admit, Common Rider Kiva isn't the best Common Rider series. It's a hard plot to follow, and there's some plot points where they just kind of drop the ball, in my opinion. But it's still a decent show and led me to some fantastic shows that I discovered after that. So, that's good. All right. Mag Cargo. I like that art. Nessa. Where's her full art hollow? That that one I'd be in for. Swellow. Beldum. Milsery. I still do not know what Milsery is. Milsery is just spilled milk. I think that's literally all it's supposed to be. Ninkata. Whooper. Wismer. Blitzel. Reverse hollow. And Colossal V. I do like me a Colossal. All right. Ultra rare. Nothing terribly special, but I like ultra, I, li I do like my Colossal, so I'll, I'll happily get that. Milsery is a blob of frosting. It's, he, Milsery looks too liquidy for that. Possessed milk. All right. Next up. Do I own any Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad toys? Um, I'd, I'd have to look in the old bins. I used to. I used to have all of them. I got them when I was a kid and hold, held on to them, but they're missing parts, and I played with those very heavily. So they're a little bit worn out. I want to go back and get some of them that I really liked as a kid. Like, I really thought the roleplay weapon was one of the best. Wiseman once said, every copy of Mario 64 is personalized. I mean, that's not technically incorrect. Hello, Ojunix. Welcome. Have I been holding up? I've been holding up okay. All things considered, yeah, can't complain. The League staff. And complained about not getting more holographics out of these. Crocorock. The aromatic energy. The Wismer again. Drillber. Whalmer. Cottony. I feel like I feel like that's just the assortment that gets jammed into some of these packs sometimes. In that order. Clobopus, Galarian Meowth, and a Dreadnaw. Hey look. Cameo. 
they don't do like trainer specific Pokemon. Like that was that was how they first re ran a whole lot of Pokemon in the TCG. Is it'd be like Blaine's Growlithe or like Brock's Onyx, and like that was cool. Like ooh, like we get the the versions that the gym leaders have, so that makes it sound cooler, makes them sound tougher. I kind of wish they'd go back to that. I kind of want to see like modern gym leaders having their own specific Pokemon as the cards. All right, last pack of Vivid Voltage for the day, and then we move on to the battle styles. Two, three, four. The collation of these packs are kind of bad. You kind of get that sometimes common Pikachu, um, especially when you're buying cards from the same stack. It's just that's how the machine chose to sort them out at that particular time. It's kind of unfortunate because I do want more variety here. Even if they're not holographic, I kind of just want more more cards. Cramorant, it actually got that arrow cu it, it actually got its fish. Look at that. Nessa, Nuzleaf, mid training. That's interesting. Why does it look like he's like putting out a forest fire? <laughs> Clefairy, Whalmer, Tynamo, Execute, Chatot. A reverse hollow Pharaoh Thorn back where we started. And Al Creamy. Which is a really pretty bit of artwork. Alright, so treated us okay to start, but everything out vivid voltage kind of petered out on us. Favorite boss battle. I can't like if we're talking Pokemon wise, I can't think of any. It's really hard for me to remember because I played so many different Pokemon games over the years. It's hard for me to keep track of them all. All right, thanks for stopping in, Cyber V. All right, Cynthia's cards and his champions cards, yeah. Yeah, in the Power Creep meta, where are all the Elite Four cards? That's the one. That, that would be cool. All right. We are starting in with the Battle Styles. This I'm looking forward to. I have good feelings about this. Of course, I'm more optimistic, so yeah. Least favorite shiny Pokemon? Any, any shiny Pokemon I can barely discern from a normal shiny. So, like, shiny Pikachu. It's just, like, slightly darker yellow. That drives me nuts. Do I follow Magic the Gathering? No, I don't. It's it's hard for... It's enough... Uh, it's hard for enough for me to keep track of one TCG, let alone others. Uh, favorite version of Dr. Julian Kintobar. Well, that's an interesting way of phrasing that sound blaster. Probably the Sat AM version. The one that uh, Jim Cummings voiced. Super creepy and ominous. Probably the scariest Robotnik ever was. I thought I, I geez, I thought I was cutting into a card there. No, it's just the plastic and the the foil for the pack was just like all crunched up. All right, battle styles, ahoy! Totem Pokemon, yeah. Favorite Pokemon voice actor? I can't even. I'm terrible at remembering the voice actors in Pokemon because they change so often. Ugh, God. Tear Guy, you haven't missed much. We haven't gotten into any uh, huge ones yet. Cutting into a card is legit a huge fear of yours. I try to make sure I can feel that they're, that all the cards are like level and flush to the bottom of the pack before I cut them. I did have that one incident on stream where I did cut into some cards, and it was a pack that had a rainbow. It had, it had, a, it had a 
Rainbow Lunala. Veronica Taylor, the original Ash. Yeah, that would be a good one. All right. Single Strike Energy. Camping Gear. Cedra. Love the look of that Cedra. Gligar. With the Superman over Smallville pose. Sandalit. Bronzor. Cacnea. Spoink. Spoink just... It's the girl in the anime, like just like or like the girl in the romance movie. Like this is what the guy sees as soon as he like sets eyes on his love interest for the for the story, right? Just all just like glow and glittery. Indeedy, reverse hollow, and Drampa. <laughs> Drampa's such a weird design. It's old hippie dragon. It's such a weird one. Of course, I guess that's the point, is to look weird. <laughs> Spoink looks at TJ-sama. Yeah, hang on. Yeah. Yeah. St uh, s sitting too, sitting in that position too long. I actually, actually tweaked my knee sitting that way. Would I want a Shinchoku Seiho Master Rider Saw Sword masked form? Saw Sword's masked form is a little bit too weird for me. I'm not sure I would be into that design as like a high end figure. Getting every first two episode of every Kamen Rider series on YouTube soon. Yeah, they're they're rolling them out now. Like, I w like I checked my subscriptions one day and like. XC Draft had completely taken over because they just dumped every episode all at the same time. Okay, next up. Code card away. Two, two, three, four to the bottom. I found out that everyone does that now. Everyone scoots four to the bottom in order to reveal the hollow last, even when they're not streaming. We've had customers do that. Like every time a customer opens up packs at the store, they just buy a pack and open it right there on the spot. That's what they do. They they will flip four to the bottom and flip the whole stack so that the hollow is the last card they get. Every time. All right. Doddler, Indeedy. Raw Daunt. Center the cards a little bit. Chimcho. Super happy Chimcho. Hone Edge. Still one of my favorites. Horsey. See, it's weird to me. Like, I love the shading style in that horsey. Like, just really, really nicely done art. And then super anime manky. <laughs> I love the variety. Galarian Slowpoke. Reverse Hollow Gliscor. Houndoom. Last time I was opening up one of these boxes, I was just trying to get a Houndoom because I wanted to see how cool it looked. It looks freaking awesome. One of the big pulls in this set is a is the secret Houndoom, which is a shiny. So that's another that's another cool pull. But that looks awesome. That looks like he's bringing the apocalypse. All right, next pack. Next pack. We keep rolling. Yeah, I saw someone sell shaded that uh, HasLab Unicron too, but you're like, you spend five hundred and seventy-five dollars and you're going to customize it. You've got guts. You've got guts. Like, I kind of wish I could do. I like. Well, I wish I had that kind of money, but I I couldn't even get one Unicron, let alone one to customize. Uh, what do I think of Funimation retweeting the Common Rider countdown thing? I think it's April 1st. That's what I think. Heatmore. Single Strike Scroll of Scorn. Bisharp. Really, I really like Bisharp. That's like as close to a Common Rider Pokemon as we've gotten. Murkrow. Tepig. Hone Edge. Electabuzz. Yeah. 
Going one for, like going full one for all here, I think. Ball toy. Reverse hollow. Silicobra. Why is he look so sad? That is the saddest snake I've ever seen in my life. Okay, Marowak. See so many Cubones doing these openings. And that Marowak. Very it's weird like how rare I get Marowak considering how many different Q Cubones we've gotten. <laughs> the Hound Doom is the apocalypse. He is literally he is a hellhound. Favorite episode from the G1 Transformers cartoon. Um, for sentimental reasons in the show, Fire in the Sky. I re I rewatched that episode so many times as a kid. Cause I really liked Skyfire. I liked the story of him like going from Decepticon to Autobot. The friendship with Starscream. The backstory. All right. One, two, three, four. See, remember when we thought Ghost Sager was never going to be adapted as Power Rangers because of the angel imagery? Well, they did cut most of that out. You've seen the, pro go the promo for the Tamashi Lab Saint and Saber from Kamen Rider Black? Yes, I have. It's amusing to me that in Japan, like, they can just name something the Satan Saber. Not something you'd ever see on an American toy shelf. Carcoal. He looks possessed. He looks like the most demonic little uh, amusement park ride you've ever ridden. Pig Knight chowing down. Fan of waves. I'm a fan of waves, too. Remoraid. You can see the Octillery doing the balancing in the back, too. The, this is still one of my favorite art themes, is seeing the younger Pokemon training with the evolved ones. That's cool. Onyx chilling out. Mawile. Again, super intense anime art. Cheruby. Pachirisu. Reverse Hollow Dublade. And Electivire. So I'm not getting many hollows so f I'm not gotten any hollows so far out of battle styles, but Oh well, yeah, well we got the Hound Doom. But what I'm getting here so far is like a lot of the evolutions that I haven't seen so far. Like that was the that was the thing. Like we kept running into Electabuzzes, but I don't think I got an Electivire last time I did this. And I definitely didn't get a Hound Doom. So I'm completing families. I'm giving myself options if I'm actually going to play this game at some point. <laughs> Japan just casually name drop Satan like it's nothing. Some To some people it is. I mean, here in America, I guess I've seen Diablo a lot. And, you know, that's just another another language word for devil. Just happens. Welcome back, Fang. There's no way in hell we're selling a kid's toy with, you know, with uh, called Satan, but toy guns? Completely different. At least with toy guns, they have to be, like, ridiculously colored now. They're trying. All right, let's see here. The Fire in the Sky... Fire in the Sky episode, I heard that the episode was supposed to have Thundercracker change sides in development, but sadly didn't go through because Hasbro. Um, oh, Junix, that's not where they got the idea for IDW Thundercracker. If you look on his original bio, Thundercracker, like, uh, his characterization is that he sympathizes with what, with the humans. Like, he feels bad for what the Decepticons are doing to humanity he feels it's beneath the Decepticons and it's unnecessary but he do the only reason he doesn't defect is because of how much he fears Megatron so that's where they get the idea for IDW Thundercracker and it's my favorite incarnation of Thundercracker so I kind of wish they'd go with that more often and give the Seekers a little bit more distinction from each other Durant definitely haven't had him before 
at least not from this series. Camping gear. Honchcrow, super proud looking. Yamper, still freaking cute. Glamiow. Corfish. Scatterbug. There's another Cubone. This Cubone's not crying or anything, so it's a step up from the other depressing Cubones we've seen. Frillish. And the Galarian Slowbro. <laughs> With the Mega... <laughs> using the Shelter as a Mega Man buster. Uh, didn't Cybertron Thundercracker defect? He did in the final episode, but then they dragged him back... The other uh, Decepticons dragged him back in. Also, that Thundercracker basically only switched sides because Megatron was defeated and he didn't want to lose anymore. Not for any moral reasons or for any character-based reasons. How do I feel about Cowboy Thundercracker from Cybertron? Uh, I don't like... I really hate how Cybertron's dub dumbs down all the characters to just an accent. They, all, they have mostly the same characteristics and characterization going in. They just all talk funny, which is the most low effort thing you can do. That's a directorial decision. You don't want to take time to actually write the characters, so you just brute force the translation, throw the script out, and just say, make a funny voice so they all sound different from each other. And that was all of Cybertron. It's really unfortunate, because Galaxy Force was good. They could have made really good things out of that show. And just from what I hear from the voice actors, the director didn't care. All right, single strike style mustard, gold bat, Bruno, the Galarian Mr. Mime, Scatterbug again, Yamper again, Lickitung charging ahead. That artwork will never not amuse me. Zubat, Weepin' Bell, and then Stojourner, which I've got, I've got the full art Stojourner. Uh, hello, Piston. No, you haven't really missed much. So far, like, this Battle Styles box has not treated me well. It's, uh, pulling a little, it's pulling a little bit, uh, a little bit thin so far. So hopefully we just haven't gotten into, like, the really good pull packs yet. Was Zubat made of wool? Yeah. So, for the card art, they do a lot of different weird ones every now and then. Like, uh, there's ones that they just took photos of, like, resin toys of the Pokemon, and that's the artwork. Those are neat. Uh, something that's been common that I've noticed are those, uh, yeah, those woolly Pokemon, which are, like, knitted. Which is pretty cool. Go eat a burger. <laughs> yeah, I, I, well, we had just had burgers last night, so I guess the power doesn't last too long. But it also means I am not able to obtain a burger right now. Two, three, four. All right. Next up. Favorite moment from Cybertron was when Primus used literal moons as weapons. I mean, I think I've spoken about my favorite moment in that series, which was Starscream wiping out, like, a dozen Autobots by himself, and actually stealing the Omega Lock. Best day a Starscream ever had. Per Ugly. The Tower of Darkness. Ominous. Girder. Yamper. Murkrow. Salandit. See, there's a resin one. Just a normal photo. Bellsprout. Mindfoo. Reverse Hollow Crobat. Who? Rapid Strike Urshifu. Ultra Rare. So we got one of the Urshifu cards. I'll take that. It's a start. It's a start. I've stopped sleeving the Ultra Rares because they're not quite worth it. They'll probably just end up in my binder. Being in the face by moves might be his worst. That might be a Starscream's worst day. Well, Starscreams have had really bad days, because that's Starscream's fate. Yeah, there's a promo of that particular card. I think I've got that floating around here somewhere, too. Uh, do I happen to have Cybertron, Jetfire, or the movie Jetstorm repaint? Not anymore. 
I, I've tried to move a, off a lot of those old, uh, old toys. Just because, I don't know, I'm not, I wasn't playing with them anymore. They were just kind of, like, taking up space. Like, I wanted them to go to somebody who would appreciate them the way I did when I first got them. Uh, why didn't make toys add a crown or swappable arm cannon for Galaxy Meteor? Probably because they already made the toy so, like, the toy was already too expensive for anyone to take pre-order on. That toy almost didn't get released because no one was taking the pre-orders, so BB, like, Big Bad and TF Source, they were canceling their orders because no one was buying the pre-orders. So they had to drop the price down, so they took a big cut on that figure as it is. So if, if they had, you're talking like a $150 figure, um, they were probably trying to keep the price down anyway because third-party Cybertron toys was completely untested. So if it if they made some big expensive thing by including a whole bunch of alternate parts and accessories, then, yeah, uh, you're taking a much bigger risk. All right. Grum Pig with the weird art. Still with that weird art. Yes, I still need Galaxy Sky Crow. I'm never gonna get that toy because they're never gonna they're never gonna run that figure again. Luxio. Why is Luxio swimming? I just noticed that. Spupa. That's one I don't see often. Timber. Corfish. Cacnea. Mawile. Spoink. Reverse hollow sizzlipede. And the Marowak again. They can go an entire booster box without a Marowak, and now I've already got two. Early 2000s, still the growing phase. Yeah. Agreed. Prime Starscream is just a downward spiral of pain from the hands of Megatron. Kind of. Sound Blaster, who'd you find the concept art for? Grum Pig looks weird. You know how I just described, Mini Tower, I just described how there's some variance in the artworks. They switch things up to keep the art fresh and to keep the different Pokemon looking unique from each other. That's one of the weirdest. That's one of the weirdest. What did I think of the Jetfire Jetstorm mold, though? I really liked it. Like, I, I mean, for such a big figure, I thought... It has one of the cleanest vehicle modes of any Transformer I know of. Just because the way they use the underside of the ship as the legs, it just kind of flows so well and hides everything so well. Very, very cool. The robot mode is problematic. Like, I don't think the gimmick works very well because it doesn't go far enough over his head to really work as like a, like a flip-over cannon. And I wish I could do something with how big his wingspan is. I think one of the reasons I sold him off is because I couldn't display the toy because the wingspan was so problematic. All right. Cedra again. Weeping Bell. We're on, a, we're on a Gen 1 run here. XB Share. Jim Joe. Onyx. Sizzlipede. Glammeow. Galarian Slowpoke. Reverse Hollow Single Strike Mustard. <laughs> Another Colossal. Normal Rare this time. I think we got this one last time I opened up Battle Styles. So more Hollows, but no big Hollow. You know, still looking for those big, big Hollows. Those Alt Arts. The, the, real, the really big pulls from this series. Get out. Revenge of the Fallen Stratosphere had the gimmick to poop an Optimus. Yes, it did. I for, I keep forgetting that that Stratosphere had that as a gimmick. Like, not the pooping Optimus part, but just that it had like a super tiny movie Optimus that actually transformed. I keep forgetting that such a tiny Optimus exists. Because I think that one was even smaller than the smallest transforming Transformer one. <laughs> Poor Starscream's 35-year history has been one big bad of big bag of bad comedy. It's kind of his own doing, really, isn't it? 
Oh, that's right. Stratosphere had a weird GPS thing. Like, he, he, he ended up breaking on people. Mine never broke. I sold mine off before it could. Honchcrow. Heat more. Scroll of Scorn again. Roly Coly. Something for all these colossals. Chimcho. Onyx. Sizzlipede. Glammeow. Glaring Slow Bro. Reverse Hollow this time. And another Drampa. We're getting into that groove of many similar cards. You know, for a full, like... For a full-size expansion, I feel like I get repeats in this set a lot. Do I ever build Super Mini Pla? Um, none that I've ever reviewed. I have, I do have some of the Super Sentai Mini Pla. Like I got, I've got Daijujin, I've got Galaxy Mega. I still have Galaxy Delta that I need to build. I don't know why I haven't sat down and built that yet. But no, generally no. I don't. I generally don't review model kits of any kind because that has to generally include like some uh, some like uh, some coverage of the assembly because it's a model kit, of course. And I hate filming model kit building because I I want to sit in a particular way and I want to pay attention to what I'm doing. And if I have to keep it all within camera frame and keep it all visible to the camera, it gets really frustrating. So I, I generally don't like doing model kit anything on camera. I've done a model kit stream, and I've meant to do that again. I just haven't gotten around to it. Also, the one I was going to do next, I lost. I don't know where it is. It's here somewhere. Last one I did was the Liger Zero, yes. Two, three, four. Uh, have I played Hollow Knight? Uh, no, I have not. Uh, I generally avoid those super hard platformers because I heard that one is brutal. It looks really good. It's, it's just one of the million games I've not gotten around to. Tool Jammer. Cybernetic Box of French Fries. Brushix. One of the Pokemon I forget about the most often. Buffalant. Mindfu, see now we're getting different Pokemon. Back to Silicobra. Glaring Mr. Mine. Bell Sprout. Little dew trickling on the head. Onyx. Karina's focus in a reverse hollow and a conch elder. So I just said, like, oh, we're starting to get into a lot of repeat cards. And then the, the packs decided, here's a bunch of different ones. No hollow, just different cards. <laughs> I need to find some way of sitting because I've got a tripod right in front of me so I can't have my legs like in front of me in the chair like a normal human being. i got to find some way of sitting during these streams that's more comfortable. Okay, so it's reasonable if I'm doing the default ending, but if I want, if I want the big ending, then yes, it's brutal. I mean, I've done brutal platformers. Like, I'm the one who said, like, I'm the one who played Cuphead and went, I don't know what everyone's complaining about. There's some challenging bosses, but generally this seems fine. Like, I'm one of those types. Like, sees, like, a hard, like, NES style hard platformer. And, like,. I treat it like it's no big deal just because I've played platformers for so long. It's one of the it's one of the few genres of video game where I feel completely comfortable all the time. Hollow Knight is more of a Metroidvania. Well, see, that's the magic word. I hate the word because it gives Castlevania partial credit for that gameplay style when Metroid is really the only one. Even like the producers of Symphony of the Night admit, yeah, we just copied it off of Metroid. Do I still have the Vulpix plush? Somewhere around here. It's been a long time since I uh, had it out, though. But yeah, like that was my favorite little plushie from the like the original like fast food run of plushies they did. So I never got rid of it. Uh, digital? No, I've not seen the. I've not seen many most of the gears. I'm not paying too much attention to those because it's hard to come by. <laughs> when I get a gear linger, then I'll pay attention to the gears. Girder, Durant again, Camping Gear, Spiro, 
I haven't seen him today. Zubat. See that? Yeah. See, there's the there's the the knitted style. It's like the whole Pokemon's been crocheted. Cubone, Frillish, Blitbug, Reverse Hollow Stojourner, and Embor. Well, we got another Hollow at least. So if I want to do something with Embor's family line, I can do that now. Uh, Mecha, that's generally a good consensus. I know a lot of people who prefer the comic books for G.I. Joe and Transformers to the cartoons. Just because the narrative is... The narrative is more serious. The narrative is, like, bigger and more epic. A lot... I, I do have a lot of favorite moments that only happen in the comic book. You know, like, like Scorponok, I thought, was a really fleshed out and, like, detailed character in the comic books. And then of course they just made him like a big monster in the in the cartoon for the limited exposure they had with him. Okay. Considering that Infernape and Embor are monkey and pig pigs from Journey to the West with those fit the roles of the Tang Monk, Sandy and the Dragon Horse. Well, the fire types are always uh, symbols on the Chinese zodiac. So, like, I don't know, like, we might get, like, a rat, like a fire rat Pokemon next gen. Uh, I'm not sure who else would fit Journey to the West. Um, Mini Tower for Kingdom and Studio Series 86, they've both been fantastic. I am, like, super impressed by both of those lines. Pig Knight. Speaking of speaking of uh, Tepig's family, Level Ball, more Peko, Fomantis, one of my favorites, Remoraid, Spiro, Pachirisu, Cherubi, Reverse Hollow Esper. Hey, Rusted, are you watching? Are you watching, Rusted? The ultra rare Hollow Victini. Oh, right, Cyndaquil is the fire rat. Right, right, right. Totally forgot that's what he was supposed to represent. Because I keep associating him with a ferret. Which I guess also is, you know, is just like a long rat, right? It's, a lo it's like, it's a stretched rat. You hear a dog. Yes, um, my dog likes to bark at literally anything that wanders by or any kind of breeze. Or a shadows. <laughs> All right, rusted Nick is happy. We got a Victini. There is a rainbow Victini in this set. There is a Vic there is a rainbow Victini in this series. I really want that one. You thought Cyndaquil was an anteater? We have an ant. We have Heatmore. Heatmore is the anteater. Two, three, four. Tell him he's a good boy. He's such a good boy. Um, Oni, my dog's a girl. I, th I think that would confuse her. XP share. Perugly. Tower of Darkness. Pachirisu. Mindfu. It's doing the Van Dam stretch, by the way. I, did, I haven't pointed that out before, but it's like super stretching. Also, I've noticed a lot of these... Uh, Pokemon are in in front of the dojo that's in the the uh, Sword and Shield DLC, which I think is actually kind of a cool touch. Tell him I'm sorry for misgendering her. Oni, reread that sentence and tell me what you did wrong there. <laughs> did you just misgender my dog while apologizing for misgendering her? You're impressed with Trevor Duvall. First encounter, his voice has Alpha Quintesson from Energon, and suddenly he's uh, Andrea Rodea for Final Fantasy VII Remake and Lego Palpatine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Trevor Duvall, I've looked into a little bit. I rem I've He has a podcast episode with Scott McNeil. It's actually really funny. So if you like Trevor Duvall, go check that out. I don't know if it's still up. Mindfu, Ball Toy, 
Haven't seen him today. Galarian Mr. Mime. Fomantis again. Scatterbug. Bolton. Running through the fields. Very majestic. Cyndaquil's prototype was a bear? Ooh. Fire bear. Cyndaquil is a mouse that evolves into a badger. Is this Digimon? I like the meme where someone shows, like, here's how a Pokemon evolves. Little lizard, big lizard, dragon. And then it shows how a Digimon evolves. Like, little lizard, giant metal lizard, refrigerator with a minigun. <laughs> Which is entirely accurate. Like, most Digivolutions have no rhyme or reason and do not need them. All right, this one jumped out of the box waiting for its turn. So let's see what it was so eager to show me. What do I think of straight repaints of the classic Spider-Man suit? I don't know, a little dull. I mean, superhero costumes have so much freedom to do like whatever they want that a straight repaint just like modify the color scheme just always comes uh it's always always comes off as just kind of lazy never been a big fan of that all right next pack we have an xp share how do patamon gatamon become super hot angels yeah i don't question this they just do possessed cargol dotler Houndour, Lickitung, Horsey, Mankey, Mawile, Reverse Hollow Cubone, Ooh, Ultra Rare Necrozma. God. Necrozma is such an awesome looking Pokemon. I'm happy to have that card. He's super intense. He is like really angry at whoever's holding that card. So we're hitting like we're hitting a good stride on ultra rares now. I need uh I need I need some like uh I need I need something a little bit stronger than that. Okay. Next up, we're about halfway through the box already. Of course, we've been at this for like over an hour now, so that's pretty much as expected. Pokemon are supposed to be animals and mythical beasts, while Digimon are anything from gears to beasts to humanoids. I mean, Ojunix, we have like animals and mythic beasts. What's a Mr. Mime? Uh, like what? What's a Machoke? Is just a pro wrestler guy? Um. You know, what, what's what's uh, Voltorb? Like, Pokemon take all different shapes and sizes, too. We've got robotic Pokemon. We've got fully... Di we've got, you know, object Pokemon. I think there's just as much variety. You just kind of overlook it. What is a Jinx? Um, uh, Jinx actually does have some mythological origins. Like Jinx is tied to like Christmas myths, that's why she's uh uh that's why she's an ice type. I can't remember them offhand though. Cause it's kinda complicated. Honchcrow, Cedra, Weeping Bell, Shinx. I like that Shinx doing the handstand down the stairs. He looks like he's training so hard. Gligar, Spoink, Bronzor, Tepig. Reverse Hollow Electabuzz, and a Salazzle. I don't know why they make Salazzle like so sultry looking and so like, you know, so like like dump truck. Mawile is based on a pretty messed up yokai. Looks like it. <laughs> Looks like it. Let me straighten the. Let me straighten my deck of cards back out. Frostlass is supposed to be an ice maiden. Yeah, well, Frostlass is also supposed to be like, like a dead ice maiden, because that's the, that's where you get your uh, that's where you get your ghost type from. 
yeah, Jinx is partially based on Japanese Gyaru uh, fashion, but also um, there there is there is some like Christmas myths that are attached to her. So it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit weird and a little bit hard to explain, but there is like a reasoning behind Jinx. There, and like with a lot of Pokemon, there's multiple reasonings behind the design behind the design. All right, two, three, four. This, oh no, we got one more until we're officially halfway through the box. Next up, the scroll of swirls. You miss my reviews. I miss my reviews too. I I don't think it's going to be much longer before we're back to reviewing stuff. But right right now, I just need to make sure that I can actually like handle doing it. Because it is a huge time sink, and like, I've had a lot on my plate lately. Uh, who's my favorite Scarlet Spider? The original, Ben Riley. All right. Cacturn. The Rapid Strike Energy. Roly Coley. Frillish. Esper. I haven't seen you today. See, there's the gym in the background again. Blipbug. Silicobra. Reverse Hollow Durant and Tapu Coco V. We got one of the Guardians. Jeez. All right, so a lot, I'm pulling a lot of ultra rares, but we're like we're still waiting for like the the you know. I'm I'm kind of shocked. We've gone through half a box of battle styles so far. I don't have any full art. I don't have any secret rare. No rainbow. No like nothing above an ultra rare right now. What Pokedex entry from Sword and Shield scared me the most? I can't remember them offhand. Like, people ask me a lot, like, what's your, you know, like, favorite gym leader, like, favorite, uh, like, favorite bug from a certain gen, favorite, you know, uh, Pokedex entry. Like, I can't remember all of it. I just can't. Like, beyond the first two generations, it just all blurs. It just all blurs to me. That's Salazzle's gimmick. It's a it's a weird gimmick for a lizard to have. All right, one, two, three, four. Yeah, uh, digital. I did see that. Um, I kind of want it, but I also have a lot of pre-orders to cover right now. I'm waiting for uh, a lot of things at BBTS to come in that are gonna obliterate my bank account. So otherwise, I would have the Gearlinger ordered right now. The Tower of Waters. Karina's focus normal this time. Per ugly, Fomantis, Remoraid, Cubone, Pawnyard. Okay, cool to see him today. Hound Hour. Okay, well now we're getting into some of the pre-evolutions I didn't see today. Sword Word and Shield Bert. I was kind of happy I haven't seen them today. And Phalanx. Okay, I don't have this particular Phalanx card before. This is actually kind of cool seeing the waves flying off of all of them. That's actually a neat little effect. <clears throat> Alright, so... One of the things that I knew I would face when opening an entire booster box, because we've, we've done this a few times. We've done it a few times where uh, I kind of get bored seeing the same cards over and over again and just seeing like the same commons and uncommons over and over, and I don't want to get bored while I'm opening these. I don't want you guys getting bored. So I think what I'm going to do from now on, if I open up a booster box, I want to have a few other packs set aside to do like halfway through so like we've cleared one half of the box so uh i think i need a palette cleanser so uh how about how about we take a quick little time out from battle styles and let's open up some of these so 
Justin, who I work with down at the toy store, well, at one of the toy stores, found Hidden Fates tins last week and was nice enough to, sh to let me have one. So, we have four Hidden Fates packs, which I never get to open Hidden Fates. We've only done one ETB, and that ETB treated me very, very well. So, we're going to do some Hidden Fates, just as like a little surprise thing. Batman or Superman? Batman. Always Batman. This could be good. I hope it's good. I hope it's good. Hidden Fates has so many good cards. It has a shiny Scyther. Like, it's got the that shiny Charizard that's worth so much. Like, I want some, you know, like, I get to open Hidden Fates so rarely that, like, I just really, really hope for, like, really good things when I do get to open it. All right. So we start off with, I still love this energy design. Still wish I had more of those. Magmar. I forgot how much I like the artwork in these. It's like that one I can't tell if that's actual artwork or if that's like a resin toy with extra effects put on it. Which means it makes it pretty good artwork. Charmeleon. I've seen a bunch of Charmeleons today. Graveler. Coughing. Voltorb. Cubone. In my favorite art for Cubone. It's like tears in his eyes, standing defiant in the fire and flame. That is such an awesome look on Cubone. Geodude, using basic artwork. Eevee. Oh, it's a cute Eevee. All right. A shiny Swablu. All right. I'm, I'm happy to take that. And Bill's analysis. Ah, uh, Bill trainer cards. Like... Always classics. Here, I'm going to move that out so I can put a little bit there. Give him a hug. <laughs> Here, I'm going to set this one aside because I kind of want to do something with all these Cubones I keep getting. Magmar's name in Japan is Boober. I mean, boobs do not mean the same thing in Japan they do here. I'm sure there's some reason for it. You love the pearl sheen on the swab blue card? Yeah. Like, they do that a lot on the shinies. Like, I like how... I like how shiny vault cards... Cause, like, um, for, shi for hidden fates and shining fates, it is called a shiny vault. If you look at the, uh, if you look at the set number, that SV42 out of 94, that is a shiny vault. They are all amazing rare level, and uh, those are always a consistent art style, which I think is a really cool thing. So if you have a whole collection of those, they all kind of match. Super neat. All right. Code card away. Kevin Conroy for live action Thomas Wayne Batman. Kevin Conroy is getting on in his years. Like, they brought him in to play some futuristic Batman. There's rumor that he's going to be uh, Bruce Wayne in a Batman Beyond project, but that's about it. But yeah, he did one live action old man Batman thing. Like Sabrina's suggestion. Charmeleon again. Misty's Determination. Clefairy. Clefairy's always just pointing at the sky for some reason. Psyduck. Magikarp. Staryu. Staryu is exploding with radioactive power, apparently. Voltorb. Reverse Hollow Golem. It is interesting that that Golem is using, like... Uh, like the old school generic art. That's kind of weird. Oh! 
Oh. Okay. Um, I finally pulled a tag team card. Um. Oh. Um. <laughs> I'm not sure how to grade that. We chased the rainbow, but that's such a bigger rainbow than I was expecting. Um, yeah, that's, well, here's the thing. Does that go into a sleeve? Does it go, it, it definitely gets at least a top loader, but are we gonna call it good enough to go into the one touch? Is it good enough to go into the one touch? Cause I, I don't have my I don't know where my phone is right now. I don't know where my phone is right now, so I can't look up the value on that. $50. All right, $50 card. I think that's worth going into because that might be our big get for the day. Nice vaulted up. Oh, that is beautiful. That is epic. <laughs> uh, the sleeves don't fit in the one touch, unfortunately, but the one touch does such a good job protecting it. Uh, I'm not too, I'm not worried about that. But yeah, that's such a good pull for, for only... For only having four Hidden Fates packs, that's such a good pull. Okay. So we're going to call that good enough for the one touch. If we pull something bigger, then we will switch it up. But for now, that's a really strong pull. Oh, it's such a cool card. Put that on the mantle. I am, like... I am trying to get my, I do want to get my hands on some like card display holders so I can actually like put some of these really good pulls out on display. <laughs> yeah, when he finds out that that was in one of the tins I took, yeah. I mean, he, he might have pulled the black Charizard out of one of the tins he kept, so what do I know? Victini should have been the one touch. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was that's not nearly as epic as the the le the rainbow legendary birds. Oh, it's a beautiful card. Oh, it's a beautiful card. You don't care about the rainbow foiling. I understand that, but like it is it is an indicator of a really big deal card at least. I mean, artistically, yes, I agree with you. It doesn't look as good as like. Because I have the promo card that's the stained glass one. But. You're seeing a lot lower. It's all over the place. Don't worry about it, Ray Guns. Don't worry about it. I think it's still a super cool card. So we'll see. We'll see where the jury is. As low as 40 and as high as 460. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. For now, it's an epic enough pull to put into one touch. I'll reevaluate it after the stream. All right. Metapod with a pick a peck about to have lunch. Uh, Pokemon Center Lady, a normal one this time. Scyther! The swarm grows. I wish it was a better Scyther card. It has a ton of HP for a standard Pokemon, but only 30 damage. That doesn't get you a that doesn't get you very far. Psyduck again. Charmander. Neat. Magikarp. Slowpoke. That's a pretty epic slowpoke. Like that's about it also looks as fast as the slowpoke's ever moved ever. Alright. Uh thanks for stopping in, Sound Blaster. Enjoy your episode of Gaim. Uh, how would you justify a sound wave in universe having a tape, tape deck alt mode that doesn't shrink by having sound wave be super tiny? I mean, he's supposed to infiltrate, so yeah. Just, just make him mini con size. Clefairy? 
reverse hollow Sabrina's suggestion. And a Mr. Mime throwing hearts at me. That's an interesting little bit of art. Uh, hello, Professor Taka. What have you missed? Uh, well, that's our big pull for the day so far. Trio of rainbow birds. So, uh, we we do have a shiny Swablu and a few and a ton of ultra rares from Battle Styles. I am opening up a few Hidden Fates packs right now. Because I have exactly four. Had exactly four. We're down to one. All right. Last pack. Well, last pack for Hidden Fates. Man, I had, like, he found these at one of my usual targets last week on Thursday. And I was stuck working at the mall at the other toy shop. And I couldn't go and grab any myself. Because apparently they had quite a few. Otherwise, this might have been a Hidden Fate stream. Ah, well, I will obtain more somehow, some way, one day. Two, three, four. TJ has two jobs. Well, I'm a YouTube content producer. I am a Twitch streamer, and I also work uh, at a local toy store, which has a second location that I occasionally work at as well. It's, uh, it's an interesting career, but it's all toy and hobby based, so I can't really complain. Misty's Determination, Pokemon Center Lady, Metapod, Eevee again, Ekans. Look at the Articuno in the background. That's in, that's a weird little inclusion on a Ekans card. All right, Paris, Caterpie, Charmander, Reverse Hollow Clefairy, and that's that's different. Clefairy art than the other one I've already pulled. That's kind of interesting. And then a Kangaskhan, who I actually really like Kangaskhan. That's one of the favorites I had from the original series. Uh, yeah, Pokemon cards are currently surprisingly difficult to get. The fact that I... You okay, TJ? You didn't separate the Scyther from the Swarm. Because I've only got four packs of Hidden Fates, it's easy for me to go back and go through those. Glad to see this isn't an April Fool's stream. Um, yeah, I'm not big on doing April Fool's jokes. They're a little bit cruel. Um, but I, do, I did kind of tell people on Twitter I was opening up seven, seven boxes of Battle Styles. I'm only opening one. Because the other six weren't mine. But, you know, I thought it'd be funny. Yeah, like, the, the Pokemon boom is bigger than anything I've ever seen. Um, I am extremely fortunate. Like, like I've done these streams so many times where I've said, like, you know, I don't think... I'm not going to be doing this next week because I can't find any cards that are too hard to find and come after. Um, I've found... I, like, I've been doing this once a week for, like, the last two months. Or longer, because I have had really good luck finding cards. I don't even buy these from the stock we get in at the store, because I don't want to take away from our customers get finding them. This is just stuff I've lucked into. It also helps that Common Rider Saber and its toy line does nothing for me, so I've had the extra income to spend on cards. That's basically what's paying for this hobby right now is my other usual hobby kind of failing me. All right. So that's our Hidden Fates. Uh, that's our Hidden Fates break. Back to Battle Styles. Uh, Rayon, I'm not, I, I think, uh, animated Blitzwing is kind of nice sticking with his gimmick. I don't really want to see that done again, but I would love to see Blitzwing's face turn in Five Faces of Darkness actually be a thing in a future one. Uh, Ash, you're not wrong. Hang on, um... Taka, which one? Let's see. Okay. 
Okay, sorry. I was looking at some other discussion, and it's going on off on a Yu-Gi-Oh tangent. Zen Kaiser will be taking up the common Rider money. Yeah, but it only just recently started taking up the common Rider money. I did just pay for the four mecha in the one big box set, and I will get the Geertlinger at some point. But for now, I've had the money. All right, Luxio, Spupa, Mustard. I prefer ketchup myself. Hone Edge, Horsey, Mankey, Slowpoke, Fomantis, thank you very much, Kyoryu Crimson, for resubscribing. Thank you very much. Hold down the D-pad plus B, hopes for critical pack opening. That doesn't work. That never works. Holding down and B does not keep a Pokemon in the ball, and Mew is not under the truck. Reverse Hollow Bufalant. Ultra Rare Cricketune. That's such a weird Pokemon to have on Ultra Rare. This box has been loaded with Ultra Rares, but we have not so far had any, like, really big alternate art pulls or full arts yet. Hopefully they all got stacked on the left side of the case. Anyone else have delays on BBTS pre-orders? Yeah, that happens from time to time. Like, the manufacturer tells them when they'll get it, but then if the manufacturer doesn't get their production up and running fast enough, that's what happens. I've got... I think I have three or four pre-orders from last month that got rolled over to this month, including uh, the Purple Potato third-party figure. Like, the uh, Shockwave is Galvatron's command ship. Which I'm really looking forward to, because it's a super cool concept, and I thought that's like what they should have done with Shockwave for Siege. And missing number will always break your cart. Not not necessarily. I had a missing number in my game as a kid, and it never it never screwed up my game. Not permanently. You know what would be a really weird ultra rare Magikarp? I mean, they would do it just because Magikarp is a well known Pokemon. It wouldn't surprise me if there already wasn't one. Firo. Nice. I like that art. I don't like that art. The Crayola Grumpig. Scroll of Scorn. Timber. Tepig. Galamio. Silicobra. Krillish. Reverse Hollow Roly Coley. And a Prime Ape. Who looks like he's just blocking impacts from Goku. Uh, when did I originally lose interest in Pokemon? Suki, I never lost interest in Pokemon. I've played every generation. I've played every gen of Pokemon. I've played through all of the main, at least one version of all the main games. Now I got now I lost a little bit of steam uh starting in gen 3 but I never I never skipped a generation. I've played through them all. I did lose I did start uh I did start moving away from the Pokemon cards around gen 2 just because there's so many to keep track of and keep going. The dark period of Pokemon seems to be three through five. I liked some of those games. Like, some of my favorite Pokemon came out of those gens. Those are the gens that gave me Turtwig and Aeron. Like, I do know, I do know it's pretty common for that range of games to start losing people, which is why they started getting gimmicky with things like Mega Evolutions and Gigantamax. Favorite generation, uh, two. Uh, mostly because the games let you go back to the original game, so you had a double sized game, which was super cool. All right. <laughs> Firo starting us off again. The escape rope. Stop, Grumpig. Just stop. Onyx. And it's. I like this artwork because I've never seen an onyx just kind of chilling out and curled up like an actual snake. He's always like looming over looming over you in the artwork. Mawile, Cheruby, Pachirisu, Chimcho, 
reverse hollow cacturn, who does have like a similar art style to that Grum Pig, but only in like technique, like form wise, it looks fine. And then a Scorch. Aloha. <laughs> Skip Gen 4 and came back for 5. Wanted to do a Nuzlocke run Gen 5. I've never understood... Well, I'll take that back. I understand the appeal of a gen, of a Nuzlocke, but I've never felt like I wanted to. Just feel, I like Pokemon being a nice, casual experience. I don't really like having it as, like, super intense, oh, please don't die. You know, um, that just seems, it just seems like a little bit much. All right. So, uh, next pack, right? Oh yeah, that's what I was doing. I was opening packs. Let's do that. Person you don't care about. Oh, I'm losing. I'm, tr I'm trying to keep track of the conversation. Sometimes it just kind of gets lost on me. You've never done a Nuzlocke before, Nuzlocke before, but you're interested in trying it. Well, I mean, if it sounds like fun challenge to you, that's all you're doing. Like, it is like a super risk run, but lo Pokemon is a very no risk kind of game. So it's an interesting way of adding risk. And it also forces you to play Pokemon that you don't normally train, which is probably the most appealing aspect to me. Indeedy. Phoebe. Carnivine. Spiro. Sizzlipede. Shinx. Cacnea. Pawnyard. Reverse Hollow Chimcho. And a Stojourner. I always just feel like... I'm just going to be really annoyed at... Like the catch rules and the self imposed the, the the self imposed catch rule of a nuzlocke, where it's only the first thing you find in each section, because it gives you so little to pick from, and you are so unlikely to come across the ones you really like. Like I would be, I would be so upset to run a nuzlocke where I ran into like, I don't know, like a ditto. Like something I would never normally train, or in something that I would think is just like impractical to use in a in a in a competitive party, in the same area where I could have gotten a scyther, you know, and just to see a scyther later on in an area where I could have gotten one, but I can't get it. Nah. Uh, do I have a Pokemon series waifu? I don't waifu in Pokemon. Especially, especially, I don't waifu, period. Let's put it that way. Especially because the age on a lot of these characters is questionable. You know, like, Misty's supposed to be 12. But she runs a gym, so. Alright, thanks for stopping by, Mystic. Hope your writing goes well. Ditto tends to be banned in Nuzlocke's. Well, that doesn't actually surprise me because it lets you open up your options so much. The Rapid Strike Energy. Phoebe again. Heatmore. Scatterbug. Yamper. Lickitung. Zubat. Remoraid. Reverse Hollow Brushix. Meowstick as a Hollow. I've seen that artwork before. I think I have this card, but that is a really cool effect because the trees in the background look like psychic ripples, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, if you wanted a Nuzlocke, you play Fire Emblem. That's why I don't play Fire Emblem. Like, I would be the type to just, like, save scum in Fire Emblem and just, like, oh, well, I, I, lost, I lost a unit that turn. Let's reload. And we'll do it again. Bruxish names comes from a type of tooth deformity. K? I mean, if you've got a husbando in Pokemon, I'm not going to judge. I judge no one's waifus or husbandos. You know, as long as you're not 
as long as you are not being creepy about it, and as long as you are not, you know, let's just let's just be fair. Just being gr- creepy about it, I'm not gonna judge. You do you. Tool jammer. I take it back. It's more like an electronic box of pocky. I think that's a little bit more accurate. Gold bat looking super ominous. Goliath score. What's in the? You know, what is in the background of all? The, oh, it's flags and leaves. So it's like flags on the spires, and then some random leaves in the same color, which is weird. Mine foo. Silicobra. Mister mime. Bell sprout. Onyx. Reverse hollow Firo. And a clay doll. Hmm. I'm not sure I had that one. The goth anarchy sister from Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt? That'd be Stocking. Possibly one of the most offensive animes I've ever watched, but also I love that show. It's interesting to see what Jap- like what Japan it, it's interesting to see what Japan wants to you know wants to do when they decide to go full South Park with just like no limits on anything we're doing. Um Umi, I'm not sure there's too many cards you'd be stealing out of this pile. I haven't pulled any like really shiny or fluffy Eevees. I've gotten a few, but no evolutions or anything. Um, I'm not sure which ones else you'd be interested in. You're not stealing them. All right. Next pack up. A very angry Morpeko. Dublade. Dublade chopping the grass like he's Link that needs money for bombs. Cheryl. Corfish. Cacnea. Mawile. Still love that art. Spoink. Mr. Mime. Reverse Hollow Ponyard. And another Bolton. Rusted, you are not stealing. You are not stealing the Victini. Yeah. Hangry Morpeko. Morpeko's not himself when he <laughs> when he's hungry. I just need like Morpeko to be in like a Snickers commercial. Why not? Cuz you're talking about stealing my stuff, man. Until the Fire Emblem on the GBA, until America got one of the games. I never followed Fire Emblem, so I'm not sure when the first one was. It was one of those franchises where I think they thought it was too hard for American audiences, so it wouldn't sell well. It seems to do well. Of course, now now we have people who really like difficult games. Umi, you can't get away with stealing things either. Luxio, Durant, Perugly, Fomantis, still cute, Remoraid, Spiro, Pachirisu, Cheruby, Reverse Hollow Tepig. I might have this whole family in Reverse Hollow. Vivalon. All right, we need something good here. Like, I got, how many packs do I have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have exactly ten packs left. We need something good here. Let me let me sort through this, and we'll uh, okay. So the last four in this stack all have different art, so we'll go with that. They showed the artwork for the next next set, by the way, and it looks awesome because it's all the legendary Pokemon I was hoping would be in the next set. Because I've seen the Japanese cards of them, and they look amazing all right come on come on battle styles give me something above an ultra rare because you've been giving me a lot of ultra rares but I've gotten nothing out of you other than those 
Because the thing is, like, because I have pre-orders coming up and because Pokemon's getting so much harder to find, this might be the last time I'm able to do this for a while. I'm not going to buy another booster box of this stuff. Um, it's just, it's, I don't think it's, I don't think it's as interesting content wise just because it's just too much of the same. Like I prefer like the, like the multi-pack jumbly stuff. And yes, I have Metricon I need to save up for, but I just don't have the opportunity to buy the cards because Target's going to make it much harder to buy. Target's usually where I find stuff, but they're going to make it a lot harder to get cards from them. So the alternatives are just going to be too expensive for me to go for. So this might be the last time I do this for a while. So I'm really hoping for like some like something crazy. Gliscor. Bruno. Mustard. Pawnyard. Mankey, Sizzlipede, Baltoy, Timber, Reverse Hollow Clay Doll, <laughs> another Embor, really? You're going to do that to me? Like, I'm hitting a Hollow Drought, and I finally get another Hollow, and it's a repeat. Common Pikachu, uh, you're going you're gonna to face someone's wrath if you do that, just, just to say. Target versus Walmart. I'm a Target person, generally. Just because I, ter I have terrible luck getting anything out of a Walmart that I actually want. There's all, yeah, Barnes and Noble. Like, there's a bunch of places that sell Pokemon, but generally the only ones with enough stock to actually do a stream with, it, I would find at Target or Walmart. They're both insanity. Getting cards from either is just insanity. Two, three, four. Like honestly, if I didn't work at a toy store, I wouldn't be able, I wouldn't have the opportunity to do even this stream. Eat more. So there's our ant eater with a pipe for a butt now that I notice. Firo. Escape rope. Blip bug. See, out training at the dojo again. Pawnyard. Mankey. Sizzlipede. Oh, thank you. Umi, thank you for gifting the tier one sub. Very cool of you. Also, my notification for that one is apparently completely broken because it didn't come up on my screen. Oh, it's past 2 a.m. for you, Michael. Okay, yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, you get some rest, dude. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for watching. This hand of mine is burning red. Ball toy. Honchcrow. Mr. Rhyme. I recognize that town too. That town's in Sword and Shield. I can't remember the I can't remember which one it is offhand. Oh, Ray Guns. I'm sure there's another Pokemon with a pole up its butt. We just have to look. There's got to be something that's like a signpost Pokemon or something like that. Favorite Power Ranger Monster of the Week. That's hard to choose. I think I like the Pudgy Pig. I got the I've got the Pop vinyl for Pudgy Pig. Like that's that's a really goofy one that I always really like. I like it better. Because I know the mythology behind it. Because it's based on uh, the Odyssey from Greek mythology. I actually found out that a lot of Rita's monsters are based in myths and uh, fairy tales like that. But, you know, of course Power Rangers didn't do anything with that. Digian versus Ethan Ralph fight. Don't even know who they are. The original Japanese, it was called the God Finger because the Gundam was called the God Gundam. But the English dubbers were like, we can't include mentions of religion in our Gundam dubs. Um, I think that only counts for the Toonami run. I want to say on DVD, it's an accurate translation. I think... But yeah, Burning Gundam was the God Gundam in Japan. Yeah, and it was 
Dark Gundam was Devil Gundam. Like, so, yeah. They had to air it on American TV, and American TV was really, like, iffy about that in anything animated. Crane is Focus. Purr Ugly. Haunch Crow. Zubat. Cubone. Still cute. Frillish. Blipbug. Roly Coley. Reverse Hollow Timber. Lorantis. I love all the I love all like the multicolored swipes in that one too. It's actually not bad for a stage one Pokemon. As I take mental notes for like the deck that I'll never get the time to build. We are now talking about warm, salty pretzels. I do love the tangents my chat seems to find itself in while I'm doing this. Because I understand that it does get repetitive sometimes while we wait for big cards to come up, but it does lead to some interesting things that people start talking about. Invenusable Flytrap, that one was good. I liked Eye Guy, I liked King Sphinx. What's the Easter plans? I have no Easter plans. Easter isn't really a holiday we make a big deal over. Like, my biggest plan is uh, we're taking off work that day. So, my plan is to actually rest because I've been working a lot of extra days lately. Why does Frillish evolve into the guy from the Pringles can? You'd have to take that up with Pringles. I think there's some kind of subliminal ad deal going on there. You got Lightning Collection King Sphinx today. Nice. I have that one. It bugs me that... It bugs me that the Lightning Collection figures are like six and a half inches tall because they're so out... The monsters are so out of scale with my figure arts. Looks really weird. Cheryl. Rapid Strike Energy. Phoebe. Corefish. Sandalit. Roly Coley. Esper. Shinx, Reverse Hollow Girder. Okay, Tapu Koko V Max. So I can actually use this because I did get the Tapu Koko V card in the exact same box. So I could technically use him. Not that I'm inclined to actually use an electric deck, but hey, options are nice. You're glad we never had to deal with Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Well, we kind of did because they they took away Michelangelo's nunchucks and like cut back on all the new ninjutsu in the in the cartoon because internationally it didn't fly. Uh, do I have the pumpkin wrapper? No, I do not. Pumpkin wrapper, I wasn't too big on. Like for some reason, that's just one that like. Hasbro and Funko both gravitated to that one. But honestly, like, I don't know, I don't know. Like, it's just a pumpkin monster. Like, it, I've never been, like, that enamored with it. You are missing one Tapu. I, I think I'm missing more Tapus than that. All right, what's next? Indeedy. Still being a weird maid. I don't know why I'd use a a Pokemon as a as a maid. Crawdont, the Tower of Waters. I think. Mindfu, Ball Toy, Galarian, Mr. Mime, Fomantis, Spiro, Reverse Hollow Spupa, and a Lickalicky. Possibly one of the worst names in Pokemon. Lickalicky just sounds unpleasant. Like, Lickalicky is how, like, a three-year-old describes what she's doing to a lollipop. The Nasty Knight. Nasty Knight was a little plain for me. Another one, I, like like another one I remember liking was like Snizzard. 
I liked I liked Snizzard. Um, I remember having the VHS with Pine Octopus, so that one stands out a lot. I remember Oysterizer. I remember uh, Shell Shock, or the monster that Squat and Babu created. I'm not showing the codes because I use the codes. If you're here just looking for codes, you can go ahead and leave. I'm not doing it. Yeah, the 2003 TMNT was actually really good. There's some very cool things. I like what they did with Michelangelo in that series because they made him the slacker that he was in the original series, but they made him the most talented member of the team. Like, if he committed himself to it, he would easily be the strongest and most skilled of the Turtles. And he showed that in the Battle Nexus episodes, and he showed that uh, fighting Cyber Shredder, you know, very late into the series. I liked those moments where Michelangelo just showed what he could really do if he tried. So that, that made him really cool to me. Vampiric Rust, thank you for the follow. Vampiric Rust. That's an interesting. That's just an interesting thought. You're not here only for the codes. Okay, good to hear. Good to hear. All right, we got mustard again. Hangry Morpeko. He's not hangry. Look at how many apples he's eaten. He's just furiously munching. Dublade, Lickitung, Electabuzz, Esper, still cute. Timber, Slowpoke. I've gotten so many reverse hollow Firos at this rate. And then Primeape again. Uh, TMNT 2003. 2012 is really cool, too. I like... It is a, it's a much different series, but I like what they went for in that series. One, two, three, four. All right. We're down to the wire. I am disappointed in this box. <laughs> okay, Vampiric Rust. All right. Yeah, Vampiric Rust is from my D&D group. Hey, Sean. How you doing? You're just here at the end, dude. I've, I've got my four packs left, so we're going to do... We're, we are going to play the game. You guys pick which the last pack is going to be. So, next pack to open. We have a Tyranitar. We have the Urshifus in Single Strike and Rapid Strike. And we have the Empoleon. So, please. Common Rider announcements are in 30 minutes. Well, one of them is in 30 minutes, 38 minutes. So, we're going to finish up in time for that. Watching Psycho Stick Live. All right. Fair enough. All right, we got two impul We got two for Empoleon. We got one for Tyranitar. We've got Mecha quoting uh, Light Yagami. Number three, Pingu. Okay, I think our uh, I think our penguin's going first. Out of the box ideas for a Transformers recolor. Darker than Moon Megatron recolor is either Motormaster or Nemesis Prime. I don't think that's too out of the box considering it's, you know, another, you know, turning one trailer, in, you know, like turning one uh, semi truck into another semi truck. I mean, I used to come up with those kind of things all the time. Like, the favorite one was always Ener like Energon. Uh, Energon Wing Saber makes for a really good Fallen. I might show those off. I might dig those up, and I might uh, show them off on a video someday. Just to show, like, hey, this is what I used to do for a hobby. Pig Knight. Still fat. Fan of Waves. Dottler. Gligar. Spoink. Bronzor. Tepig. Pachirisu. Corfish. Whew. Single Strike Urshifu V. That is a full art, alternate art. 
All right, all right, all right, all right. You're, you want to finish strong, box. Okay, I get you. I get you. Now, like the big one in this set is like the alt is the is the uh, the rapid strike uh, V Max. The rapid strike V Max is really huge in this in this one, like value wise. You imagine, you will never see my fan fiction, Ben. Not that there is any. I'm not admitting it. What? How could the fallen work? Wing Saber can barely move. Big bear boy. Yep. We got one Urshifu already. We got that Urshifu V, which is the Rapid Strike. But that is the cooler one to get. So we do have one we do have one alternate art today. Alright. Single strike, rapid strike, Tyranitar. Which one next? Oh, Maniac, these cards are heartless. Uh, th these cards are cruel and unforgiving. You stop it with the cookies. There is no... There is no stash of cookies. Oh, wow. Single, 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 rapid. Godzilla, single. That's a lot of single right off. All right, thanks for st sticking by, Ojunix. All right, single strike it is. Craft singles. I don't always have a stash. Sometimes I'm out. All right. Single strike it is. Two, three, four. All right. For our last single strike, Golbat, Bruno. You can at least turn to face me, Bruno. You don't have to be that brooding about it. Carcoal, Remoraid. Cubone, Pawniard, Houndour, Shinx, Reverse Hollow Grumpig. That Grumpig art is never going to work for me. And another Licky Licky. That's a little... That's a little disappointing. All right. Two packs left. Yeah, Scalpers demand. It's ridiculous. All right. Tyranitar or Urshifu? Uh, Z-Bot, we're almost done. These are my last two packs. All right. Uh, we got one vote for Tyranitar. One for Shifu. Uh, Rayon, I'm almost done here. So, yeah, by the time you're, by the time you get back, I'm probably going to be gone. Tie, 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 Ursha, Ursha, tie. Carp, one, Urshifu. All right, I think I'm saving Tyranitar for last. Let's save Tyranitar for last. And we'll open up the Urshifu. The rapid style this time. You are clarifying. No, I, I think I think Urshifu had it anyway, so don't worry. Two, three, four. All right, last Urshifu pack, which doesn't make any difference. I found out there's people who pay more for certain Pokemon on the packs, and it's just like, why? <laughs> you meant to type crap. Well, you typed carp. Just <laughs> run with it. Gliscor, Bruno again, Bellsprout, Bronzor, Murkrow, Still creepy. Graveyard art in a Pokemon card. Horsey. Cheruby. The reverse hollow tower of darkness. Steelix. 
Look at that, five energy cards for that attack. That is an, that is thirsty. That is thirsty. That's like that's like a quarter of your energy cards just for one Pokemon. You're expensive, Steelix. See, that's the thing. You typed carp because subconsciously you know I try to keep my stuff PG, so you are being just like super like careful with it. One, two, three, four. All right. Last pack of the stream, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys for watching, sticking through this, and going on my little Pokemon adventure once again. For our last one, we have a Bruxish, Bufalant, the Urn of Vitality, which I need right now. Because my voice, my throat is like not happy about two and a half hours of talking. Do I have any of the Lightning Collection Psycho Rangers? No, I do not. I kept meaning to get the Amazon pack and I haven't gotten around to it. Scatterbug, Hone Edge, Gligar, Electabuzz. Reverse Hollow Kingdra, which I don't have a Kingdra of any kind. <laughs> Rainbow Chased. Flapple VMAX Rainbow. I don't think that's a big deal Rainbow because it's Flap it's Flapple, who is at most amusing. But a rainbow rare is the final pack. I think is a pretty strong ending to a stream. I kind of I'm into that. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, pack. You 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 la last minute last minute save with the uh last minute save with the full art Urshifu and the rainbow rare. I can taste that rainbow. It tastes like sour apples. I know I don't think it's a top loader. I don't think it's a top loader card. Cuz you know, Flapple is not really like a really big deal Pokémon. Uh I might look it up later. All right, so what have we done <laughs> besides ruin my finances for another for another week? Um Well, if we're going to separate out the like the really like wow kind of stuff. All right, so let's gather up all these. I said gather up all these. Come on. 35 on the Flapple. That's actually not bad. So we're ultra rare heavy today. We see here from Vivid Voltage, the Aegis Slash, and the Colossal. We have one Rapid Strike Urshifu, the Necrozma, the Cricketoon, we have and we have a Victini, <clears throat> and then neatly enough, a, 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 <clears throat> ah, a Tapu Koko V and a Tapu Koko V Max. So we have that pair going. So that's that's not bad to have those together. Big pulls. Big pulls being, yes, the Rainbow Flapple and the single strike Urshifu. I really like that art, by the way. He's looking super cool. And then, yes. Um, uh, sh full art Pokemon Center Lady that Vivid Voltage was nice enough to give me. We add one more to my shiny vault with the Swablu. Still need that Scyther. And, yeah, that's our big card. That is our big card for the day. Moltres, Zapdos, Articuno, tag team card. The first tag team card I've managed to pull. And it's... That's a pretty strong pull. So Hidden Fates continues to be good luck. I might spring for like I might I might actually spring for some of the more expensive ones cuz there's it's kind of expensive to get Hidden Fates online. Of course it is, but I might spring for it just because it's done me good and it's a fun set to open. But like I said, this is probably going to be the last Pokémon stream for a while. 
If I stream next week, it'll probably be back to a video game. I don't think it's going to be Final Fantasy VII. I'm just... I don't know. The, the game is going so much slower than I thought it would. I thought I thought that game would go so much faster since I've, you know, I beat it as a kid. It didn't seem like it was that long then, but now it seems like it's taken forever. Um, we'll see. We'll see what it's going to be. But thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for watching and open, you know, watching me open up cards to uh, mild disappointment and some levels of pretty good excitement. But, uh, hopefully we'll be doing this again at some point. Maybe not next week, maybe not the one after that, but we will be doing this again at some point, and I hope you are there for it. So, thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for supporting, and I will see you next time. Good night, everyone.